Welcome back to another video on the channel and on today's video we are going to talk about the most important and the best books that you can use in order to prepare for your coding interviews for these top big tech companies or to master data structures and algorithms which is a very integral part of all these coding rounds in these interviews. So just before we start if you are new to the channel and if you haven't already subscribed yet make sure you do consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to receive all such notifications and timely updates for such videos. So let's move on to the video. So while preparing, we know there are tons of resources available online for free or even paid resources, including video lectures and uh, theoretical material available. And then of course, there are also hard copies and books available for you to prepare for your interviews. And it depends on the person. Everyone has their own preferences. For some people, they prefer books more than video lectures and vice versa. So both videos as well as books, they have their set of advantages and disadvantages. For example, in books, you can uh, bookmark a particular page, a particular topic, or you can highlight or underline some areas that you want to refer to uh, at a later point in time, or you want to get back to during your revision. And similarly, in videos, you have the advantage of uh, a more detailed and visual approach of understanding. So everything can be drawn out and explained properly, which cannot be done practically visually in a book. And there are disadvantages as well. For example, while watching a video, you are limited by the rate or the pace of the instructor. You can, of course, uh, change the speed of the video, fast forward and everything, but still you are more or less limited by the rate at which the instructor is going and with how much detail the instructor is trying to explain a particular topic. And on the other hand, while reading something off of a book, you can turn to whichever topic you want, uh, just cover specific areas that you want. You have all the different topics already indexed uh, line by line, so you can skip certain ones that you don't want to cover and only choose the limited ones, which is not, of course, possible in a video. You have to watch the entire thing. So there are pros and cons on both sides. And ideally, a person should maintain a good amount of balance between the two for their uh, most optimal preparation. But if you are someone who prefers books more, or if you want to try out books for the first time and see how it goes, then here are my most uh, recommended books or the best books that you can probably refer to during your preparation for data structures algorithms for coding interviews. Okay, so the very first book in our list is Tracking the Coding Interview by Gail Lackman McDowell. This is by far considered to be one of the most important and most famous books for coding interview preparation for the top tech companies. And this is something that you should uh, refer to once you have uh, sort of covered the basic fundamentals of data structures algorithms. This has a list of problems and also defines theoretical aspects of uh, every data structure, arrays, linked list, queue, stacks, graphs. So the author of this book herself has actually had experience working with Google, Facebook and Apple. And she also has created another platform called Career Cup, which is also used widely for preparing for tech interviews. So you can refer to that as well. The most useful part of this book is that it has around 200 problems, most asked coding interview questions. So if you go through those, it's very likely that one of those is asked to you itself in your interview. And then this also has solutions. So for each of these questions, at the end of the book, there are detailed solutions. The solutions are uh, specifically in Java language, but they are very easy to understand, even if you have experience working with some other language. So for every problem, you have a very detailed solution. And apart from the coding interview questions, it also has areas on theoretical portions of all data structures and all algorithms, complexity analysis, time and space complexities. So you can first try to cover those and then move on to the questions. And the question part of this book is really, really important and useful. And apart from the tech side, this book also has areas covering your behavioral interview rounds as well as your managerial rounds, HR rounds. So you can try to cover those as well. And the author is speaking from experience because she has conducted over 100 interviews in all these companies. And after that is when she authored this book. So try to get the latest version for this particular book. If you are uh, opting, it's the green colored cover. I'll just attach its image as well. So when we talk about interview preparation, then this is one of the most demanded books available. And if you can cover the entirety of this book, then I think that should be more than enough. Okay, so the next book in our list is the one known as Elements of Programming Interviews. And uh, there are different variations for this book, but the one that I found to be most useful and most well-written is the one uh, available in Python specifically. So for all Python developers and for people who are experienced with Python, this is probably the best book you can go for. This book is actually very often compared with Cracking the Coding Interview as well. And both of these are almost the same, uh, equally good. And this also covers all your data structures and algorithms and has questions, most asked interview questions on all data structures. So this also makes it a very, very good candidate for interview preparation. And uh, one uh, contrasting approach with Cracking the Coding Interview is that in CTCI, you have the solutions for every single question at the back of the book. So you have to flip the pages and go to the back, find the question index, then the page number, and then find its solution and look for it. So there are detailed solutions, but you might take some time in order to find solution to a specific question. In Elements of Programming Interview, this book, however, the solutions are written right after the question. So for every single question, immediately after the question, you have the solution as well. 
this might uh, make things a little easier if you are wanting to know the solution as well but if you want to try it yourself then it's better to not look at the solution first and keep attempting the question so a contrasting approach in terms of the way the book is written but both of these are really really good book and if you happen to have a time constraint and want to cover as much portion as possible in as little time then this is an ideal candidate for you because you can probably skim through the entire book in very little time or the important areas just right a few weeks before your interviews so both of these books that i mentioned are specifically for interview preparation and uh, should be uh, covered a few weeks or months before your interviews when you have covered the basic fundamentals cracking the coding interview has solutions in java and elements of programming interview i am talking about the python version has solutions in python and actually there is one more book that i really prefer for the interview preparation portion specifically which is known as programming interview exposed and this particular book is something which should be taken up just moments before your interview if you have uh, already covered most areas and are pretty much done with your preparation then just a few days or weeks before your interview you can just try to cover the most important points from this book and another important point is that it has uh, portions for your uh, designing areas operating systems database management networking concepts uh, these areas as well so apart from the data structures and algorithm side this is also something that is asked sometimes in interviews so this book will help you cover those areas as well and this is specially recommended just few days or weeks before your interviews also this book contains some areas uh, particularly dedicated to your problem solving and puzzles which are sometimes asked not by all companies nowadays but some companies still do ask some puzzles during their interviews so those are also mentioned and the approach of how to approach a new puzzle or how to build the logic for that so do try to cover that area as well from this book and these three were interview preparation specific books that i highly recommend if you want to just select any one of those for specifically interview preparation and now the books that i'm going to list are more of uh, learning about algorithms in depth and in detail and learning about data structures so the books that i'm going to list now should be taken up if you have enough time before your interviews and if you want to go into the depth of every single data structure and algorithm this is going to build a very very strong base for your preparation and then you can uh, ultimately polish or finish your preparation using the uh, three books that i just mentioned okay so in this list of books that you want to take up for preparing for data structures and algorithms before your interviews much before your interviews and to go in depth of every single data structure and algorithm the very first book that i have in this list is data structures algorithms made easy by narsimha karwanchi and this book is specifically for c and c++ users and it goes into very 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 detail of every single data structure their implementation uh also covers object oriented programming concepts as well while implementing a particular data structure and this is a very renowned and very famous book especially for uh, beginners they refer to this book a lot in their in starting their preparation journey so if you want to take up data structures algorithms in c and c++ then this is going to be one of the best books that you can go for this is specific to the dsa part not the operating system networking database management concepts but this takes you through the entire approach of how to uh, build the logic for a particular solution so it talks about the brute force approach then the optimization to that approach uh, reducing the space complexity the time complexity and then the most optimal approach as well so it talks about the way you should approach a new programming question and that is one of the most uh, interesting and helpful things about this book so for all the beginners if you are just starting out definitely consider if you want to consider a book this is going to be amongst the best choices that you can make especially for c and c++ users and then the next book that i would want to recommend uh, for learning about algorithms is the one called introduction to algorithms and for this book there are four combined authors so the book is known as clrs as well which is the first letter of every single author and this is considered as the bible for computer science students and people preparing for a deep understanding of algorithms so every algorithm that you will ever want to know even for your competitive programming enthusiast so this book covers a detailed explanation of every single algorithm that you can think of and for every single data structure for example uh, tree algorithms graph algorithms recursion backtracking then randomized algorithms permutation combinations some of the tougher ones as well for example if you talk about graphs then articulation points cut vertices then bridge edges and your network flows uh, minimum cut flow cross curl algorithm prims algorithm then different ways of cycle detection then euler circuit hamiltonian circuit and then even for trees you have heavy light decomposition you have mohs algorithm so some of these are uh, specific to competitive programming uh, aspirants and these questions are generally not even asked in interviews of top tech companies as well so this is one of those books that i would recommend only for those ones who are already uh, experienced with all basic data structures algorithms and those who want to stretch it up even more and go in even more detail so this is definitely not for beginners and it's not practical to cover the entire thing it's a very fat very big book it's going to take a lot of time to cover everything in detail this is something that you should take up if you have a lot of time with you and if you want to study every algorithm in that much detail because for beginners first of all you might not be able to cover the entire thing 
and then you might start getting intimidated with everything that there is in this book there are some technical jargons and terminologies that are used that you might not be familiar with so not a very ideal uh, book for uh, beginners definitely not and this book focuses largely on the algorithmic aspects of every single approach for example talking about time complexities space complexities for different cases and uh, mathematical derivations of every pseudo code every algorithm is represented using a pseudo code version so these terminologies and the way that it's represented is not very user friendly or beginner friendly so only for people who have experience should go for this and if you are going for this then the first few chapters of this book are about your complexity analysis so it's i would personally recommend to cover those areas at least if you're starting out instead of hastily going through random chapters of this book because this is a very big book and it's going to take time but definitely if you are wanting to cover then cover the complexity analysis part because it's explained in a lot of detail and very thoroughly in this book all right so the next book in this list is the algorithm design manual written by steven skeena and this is another book which is kind of the same it's a very big fat book again and it's going to take time to complete it but it goes into details of every single algorithm their implementations and it also covers a lot of the algorithms that uh, the tougher ones and the less known ones so uh, a lot of top tech companies sometimes for example even in google and facebook and netflix in their interviews they have questions which are uh, very specific to a particular algorithm or technique so if you cover this book then there's absolutely no chance that you're going to miss out on any algorithm any technique any approach to solve a question in the most optimized manner so definitely a very very good and well written book for a deep understanding of and mathematical analysis of all algorithms this one also focuses on uh, the mathematical concepts of a lot of different algorithmic functions for example the runtime analysis of functions and the derivations of different runtimes in best worst average case scenarios average case derivations are usually very tough for a lot of algorithms so this goes into a lot of details about how to derive how to mathematically analyze the average case runtime complexity and one of the best aspects of this book that most people prefer is the appendix section given at the end of the book where there is a detailed description of very advanced and tough algorithms as well so in case you want to stretch up your preparation up to that level and for example for people who are very much interested in competitive programming or want to be amongst the best competitive programmers of the country then this is definitely going to help them a very very useful resource and uh, do consider this book if you want to uh, specifically dedicate time and energy into being that good at particular algorithms otherwise for interview preparation most of these algorithms are out of the scope and the books that i mentioned earlier are going to be enough and now the last book that i have in this list for preparing for data structures and algorithms is the book known as algorithms by sedwick and this is also widely regarded as amongst the best books available for uh, learning more about algorithms and this is specifically for java developers so this book is written entirely uh, pertaining to java syntax so if you are someone who has experience working with java or if you want to learn about implementation of data structures algorithms in java then definitely go for this one this is not a very advanced book like the earlier two that i mentioned this is kind of a moderate level book and is specific or ideal for interview preparation as well so definitely a very good candidate and the reason that i mentioned this to be a, a very good resource for java enthusiasts is because the way that they have tried to implement the syntax for different data structures for example when you implement your custom graphs or linked list nodes or uh, nodes of a tree so they have covered or taken care of the object oriented programming style in specific to java so it's a very nicely adapted and written book uh, for java developers to get to know more about implementation and how the oops concepts work and those were all the books that i had in my recommendation list currently so the first three that i mentioned are specific to interview preparation which is when you've covered the basics and you want to brush up your interview preparation during the last few months uh, cover one of those three it's not that you want to cover all of those and the remaining four that i mentioned are specific if you want to learn about data structures and algorithms in detail so if you have a lot of time to spare with you and if you are in your preparation phase right now so in that case you can go for any of those four books and you don't have to go for multiple books out of these even one is going to be more than sufficient i just uh, gave you a list of all the top ones that i think are most resourceful and people usually consider these books only if you want to prepare and this is specifically to those who uh, prefer books over your video lectures or some theoretical material available online otherwise everything that is there in these books can also be found in some other resource uh, online as well and if you have any other doubts regarding these uh, books and how to get them you can order them on amazon i think all of these books i'll attach the links to all of these books uh, in the description below you can go over and order whichever one you want other than that if you want any other suggestions or advices 
feel free to comment them down below and if you're new to the channel and not a subscriber already and if you appreciate the videos and the efforts then please consider subscribing to the channel as well and if there's something that you want me to make videos on you can feel free to uh, comment them down below or reach out to me on any of my social all the links are mentioned uh, in the description and it must be showing somewhere here as well so reach out to me for any help that you require and that's it for this video i'll soon be coming up with more such informative and useful videos thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon in the next one